Hey guys, HL4 here. Uh, as you can see, I'm at my front pond, and um, I'm pretty sure you can see on the camera with all that fishing line. See that? I'm using that to protect my fish from all the birds and wildlife, other wildlife around here. Look at that, look at that toad. It's huge. It's like the size of my hand. Um, what I used for this is about every two feet I drilled uh, a hole in and used uh, Tapcon screws and just put them just so enough so that I had enough room to put the fishing line under it. And then I went crisscross criss all over the place and um, the plan is that if a bird comes over and sticks its head in here, when it pulls its head out, it'll get uh, hit that and it'll get scared and try to fly away or something. Um, this one's like a lot of mounds on it. Uh, here's a little a little filter I have on there. Put it on there and then it catches all the smaller debris in the pond. Uh, the hyacinths are taken off again. I have that little piece of wood there as an ornamental piece. It's a little plant. Um, just went to the park and I'm tired. So let me grab this toad and I'll show you how big he is. Because he's pretty big. If I can get him. He's just hiding under there. So I gotta wait a few seconds. Come up. Go. Look how big this guy is. He's the size of my hand. And I don't want him back in the pond yet because he's gonna eat all my fish. Look at this guy. Whoa. Look at him. It's huge. I had another guy in here that was a lot bigger than him, but he only had one foot. I mean, three feet. So he lost one foot. Um. Man, look at him. He's scared. He's not coming back in my pond, for sure. So, yeah. I will be getting an arowana next week. They're gonna be about four inches long. And we'll have two in here. This is primarily why I wanted this up. I was gonna use bird netting, but my dad said this would be less cost less costly. And uh, it just looked too bad. Actually, looks pretty cool. If you were here in person, uh, see all that line. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I guess I'm just gonna do a feeding too. So the feeding, the, the red tail cat. I gotta wait for him to come up now because he's just used to all that food because I had to feed him over the winter well at the end of the winter um another news I got some Hikari cyclic gold for the marijuana when they get bigger 20 bucks or eight, like 8 ounces or something like that 18 and 18.8 ounces so two pounds will bring me down about 40 bucks. Um, I'll probably try massivores or carnivores eventually sometime. And uh, when I do, I'll probably make a video on it. Uh, I, I just tap. They're not used to it. Well, it's been a while. Goldfish are the only, only ones that come up, so. Uh, I gave away my Paku and the channel cat to my uncle so I can get the arowana. In my opinion, that's a pretty good trade for $60 fish each at four inches. Um, so, uh, red tail cat, I'm going to starve him. He doesn't want to come up. And well, he's gonna starve himself to death. 
But then again, a healthy fish isn't going to starve himself to death when there's food available. Um, ah, crap. I'll fix that later. And, uh, I'll go show you guys the uh, birds, too. So this is probably an update on all... Oh, my God. Mop in the house this morning, and this is how she puts it back up. This is why you never get sisters to mop the house or put away anything. Um, ooh, get that away. Uh, we cemented that right there. No more cinder blocks down there. Uh, here the here's the dove. I mean pigeon. Pigeon. He's bigger, so he's a pigeon. Here's the ceramic rooster. That's a ceramic chicken. They have some eggs back there too. She should be laying on them. And I gotta get some them some water. Um so yeah. This big is basically it. Let me see if I can get her to try to bite me. Ooh, whoa, 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 look at this guy. Oh man, it's a tough guy. Come here, come on, come on. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's scared. Always scared. And I guess that's it. Unless you want to see that bird. Not too interesting. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, koi pond is dirty. It's nasty in here. Gross as heck. This pond is just falling apart. I swear. We need to clean out this filter and everything. Oh, then. Okay, clean everything out. Try and sell them. So if anybody in Florida wants about 90 fish, it's going to be $13,000 for all of them. All of these are fish imported from Japan. We started with 300. 80 died over the winter when they were younger. These are these fish are like three years old too. Um, they're about 12 inches to 24 inches. And uh, there's uh, Kohaku, Sankey. We might have some Tancho. I have no clue. Um, there's some others that I have no clue what their names. Uh, there's Showa in here too. Uh, platinums, one black, one black in here, and that's about it. Here's our do-yourself skimmer. And one last look at the chickens and pigeon. Yep. All right, guys, subscribe, like, and spread the word.